Hello everyone, this is Dice, and today we're doing something a lot different. Uh, people have been asking me how I've made some of my Sims content, my Sims 3 content. Um, so today I'm just going to go through the tools that I use and what specific areas I'm editing. But I'm not necessarily going to go through and make something in this tutorial. This is just a very basic understanding of what I use and what you can do. The only thing I made in this picture I would like to point out is the skirt. If people want the hair, it's from PeggyZones.com in the free section. The shirt is from the game, the shoes are from the game, and I'm pretty sure the leggings are either in-game or from parasimonious.com or if you just search parasimonious um, I could put those links in the side if you guys want but as far as that goes the program that you'll need is this one if you are on the site you will go to TSR workshops and there will be a bar up here right where this is and you want to click downloads and then if you go down you want this now the one thing about the program that we're going to be using is everything is in .dds format now the problem is what do you open with if you I'm going to use Photoshop so there is a plugin and I will give you guys the link for the plugin that you can use um, if you don't know how to un to use the plugin the only thing you have to do is double click on the .exe file it automatically installs it for you if you find a different DDS plugin I'm not sure if there is one and don't know how to install it I have a tutorial on installing plugins manually. Some, I will remind you, are automatically installing themselves. So once you have this downloaded, you're going to want to click on it. And I already have mine open. When you first start this, there's going to be a dialogue that comes up and it's just asking if you automatically want to connect to the Sims resource because the website that you get the program from is thesimsresource.com or TSR as it's often abbreviated as. So to start a new project we're going to go to File, New and depending on what you want to make um, I will base mine off of the skirt that I did earlier so I'll do clothing and you're going to pick which area you want now the one thing you you can make it go beyond the section that you pick like if I click young adult it will automatically have it set to work in adult too but there's another section you can edit that in and I will show you guys later I'm going to do female every day and we gotta wait it will populate every single mesh that is default to the game only it will not upload your custom content me meshes and bottoms this is the skirt that I'm going to use and we want to name it now if you upload this to the site it will automatically take this for the name of it and the description you have like if I put this and that will show up when I try and upload it as the description you can edit it if you want later on like when I uploaded this 
to TSR, I had to explain to people that the hair in the picture was from Peggy Zones and the shoes and everything else and where that, that whole thing was in case they wanted the whole outfit or something specific on the girl that was modeling it. And then click OK after you've hit Next. Now this is what I was talking about. This is what the skirt looks like so far. We're obviously going to change that. But there is a chance that you may want this someplace else. Like 14, child. You can have it for male if you want, though I'm not doing that. Um, this is where what it's supposed to be on, like the body or the hair or face accessory. Clothing type is the section the bottom. Categories is actually the, the, where it will be displayed, except for maternity. You can have something for maternity if you want. <coughs> Formal, sleepwear, whatever you want. It can be anything. Everything here up, except for naked, is the sections in the game. Everything else is completely random just for future notice. Mesh. This will change the size of the mannequin that you have it on, or model, whatever you want to call it. <coughs> Texture. This is where we're going to be working the most. In this area, the overlay is anything that will overlap your mesh and your textures. Like if I wanted a star in the middle of the skirt, I could probably copy this image by exporting it, import it into here with a star on it, and it would overlay this. It is the equivalent to the overlay mode in Photoshop pretty much. But seeing as this is a very simple tutorial, um, we're not going to go into that. So, to edit how it looks, we're going to go to the multiplayer mode. Edit. You would export this. You'll notice this is transparent. When we export this into Photoshop, you will notice that it, the background will be black. But that is not a bad thing. Um, that is just how Photoshop renders it because it's not meant necessarily to work with DDS files. So we're going to hit export, and we want to go back. You can decide where you put this, because you are the only one that will ever see these textures in this file format, unless... So, name it whatever you want. You don't have to keep it as key. I like to keep them names simpler, because every single one of these things, if you're messing with the other overlay and such, all are start with the name key with a bunch of other random letters and numbers, and it's just so confusing. So, you want to save that wherever you want it. And click Save. And it is now a DDS file. So, now you have to go where it's saved. and open it up in Photoshop.